Well, to do this, the first thing that you want to put in is you want to put in the centers. Unlike this guy, the way that I solve this is I would put two in and then I'd have these three and slide it in. I'm going to do it very differently here. So this guy's already in. So what I want to do is put the ones in next to it. The way this algorithm is going to work is it's going to swap these three. What that's going to do is, um, well, it doesn't even matter what direction, but let's say I want to put, as I'm looking around here, the screen is all the way here. Okay, if I do it like this, this yellow will come here, this will come here, this will come back over here. Uh, so if I want to put the yellow one in here, what I'm going to do is this yellow belongs here. I'm going to do a right, left, right, left. All that does is it cycles the center. So this is in, this is in, this is in. These, whoop, these three are out. Now the way that I want to coordinate this is I don't want it to be in this position. I don't want three at right angles like this. I want three in a straight line, parallel like that. So that's how you have to coordinate this in order for this to work because I don't know of an algorithm that swaps three like that, only in a straight line. So I've got this here, this here. Let's get this yellow one in. We can get the orange one in, as long as this is in and this is in. Uh, yeah, we can get the orange one in. It'll take this green one out, but that's fine. I want one in a straight line. So because I'm leading with this, with the orange, I'll do left, right, left, right. That's what I want. This is in, this is in, and this is in, which will use this, this, and this. To make this happen, I'm going to lead with the white to bring it in here. Left, right, left, right. So that fulfills the next thing that we want to do. We put the centers in. Real simple. So now what we have is we have really almost a completely different puzzle. We've left the realm of the jumbling. We've left the realm of the curvy copter. Uh, we are now completely into solving these outer center areas here. This algorithm is not difficult. The difficulty of this is in the positioning, the construction, doing the algorithm, and then reconstructing and remembering, remembering what you did to get it out of there, or, you know, to get it into position. What this is basically going to do is it's going to take this, move this to here, this to here, and this to here, or this to here, this to here, and this to here. So whichever you need to do. So let's look at a position here. Um, <clears throat> This looks pretty good over here. We can move this orange to here, this red to here, and this blue to here. So by the end of it, I'll have placed two. And the way this is going to work, if this is going to be the left side, we're going to do left. Now when I do left, right, or something like that, understand it's now all 180 degree turns. So left, right, left, right. You know, we started the left and ended right. We did it four times. Then when we go to the back, we just go back, front, back. So it's just three moves. back front, back. Now, if we started left, we now go right. And we'll go right, left, right, left. So again, that's four moves. And now we do the back front with three moves. Back, front, back. It's an algorithm that goes surprisingly quick, but this is placed and this is placed. The blue one is placed here. So this goes to here, this goes to here, and this goes to here. I can't recall if I said that it goes to here, it doesn't. Here, 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 and here. So we're going to just keep doing it that way. Let's see if there's another easy one just to demonstrate with. Here's a white. This to go to here, this green to go here, and this white to go here. So because we're taking it to the right side, we start off with the right, and we do our four. So right, left, right, left. And now we do back, front, back. Because we start off with right, we now do the left, left, right, left, right, and finish with our back, front, back, in and in. So you can see how easy that is. So you start off when you're doing your rights and your lefts, you do it four times, backs and fronts, you do it three times. So now we're in a position where we may have to do more positioning. Because I would do it to where, don't just put one in, put at least two if you do three, eh, that's perfect. This to here, this to here, and this to here. Right, left, right, left, back, front, back, left, right, left, right, 
back, front, back. So we're getting it. And now I think we might be finding ourselves, no, yeah, yeah, so we're finding ourselves in a situation where we have to start moving things around to make it work. So in terms of positioning, here's a yellow, well, an orange rather, the orange is behind it. So here's what we want to do, here's a blue, and I want to move it to here. When you see this is pointing down, we can easily make it point up over here just by turning it here. So I've now deconstructed it to where now it's facing the right way. Blue to, it'll go where it wants to be, blue to blue, orange to wherever you want it to be. Uh, now it'll be nice if I can put another orange to end up over here. So I can put this in, so, well, no, actually I can't. Anything that's on the side will end up on the side over here. So here to here, now is there another orange that I can use that's on the side. I don't see an orange. Worst comes to worst, I can take this, move this to the side, and put this in. So that's how I've deconstructed it. This to here, this to here, and this to here. But just to show how complicated you can be, what I could do is I can take this red, you know, this over here, move this slice over here. This is to the side, so now I'm going to take this and move it here. So this will work. I just have to remember what I did. I remember that I had to turn this, then this, and then this. So this is going to be the right side, right, left, right, left, back, front, back, left, right, left, right, back, front, back. Now you're not out of the woods yet. Remember what we did. This was the first to move. And you can kind of intuit your way through it. And this comes back over here. So that's going to be the biggest challenge of this puzzle, to remember where you've been and to not mess yourself up. So let's see what else. Well, we can, we can move this green up to here by going like splat. So we can move this here, green to green, yellow, yellow to yellow. So I can move this up over here and this white will come to here. So I just have to remember what I did. Right sided, right, left, right, left, back, front, back, <clears throat> left, right, left, right, back, front, back. Now, what did I do? Well, I believe I moved this over to here and this over here. So you see, step by step, we're getting it done more and more. Here's an innocuous white one. This one can come over to here. So white to yellow, yellow to here, and orange to orange. So we're going to get three in this way. Right, left, right, left, back, front, back, left, <coughs> right, left, right, back, front, back. Now my suggestion to get the maximum enjoyment out of this puzzle is challenge yourself and see if you can always do threes. It starts to get harder and harder. So what I can do is move this to here. So red to red, yellow to yellow, and well, this will be two. Left, right, left, right, back, front, back, right, left, right, left, back, front, back. And this will come over to here. All right, I can move this to here, white to white, red to, wouldn't it be nice if I can move a red in? Well, I probably can move this here, move this here. So white to white, red to red, white to We'll just be exchanging this. Just have to remember exactly what I did. Left side, left, right, left, right, back, front, back, right, left, right, left, back, front, back. Now, what the heck did I do? This came here and this came here. So we actually have a whole side over here. 
and we're getting it. We're making it. Okay, when we have opposites, it gets a little difficult. Okay, so if we were to take this guy here, So I know by holding it here, this white can end up over here. I'd love to be able to get this to a blue, and maybe I can. Yeah, I can. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, move this to here, then take this, move it to here. So this will come to the blue, this will come here, and this white will come here. Right, left, right, left, back, front, Back, left, right, left, right, back, front, back. Now we pull it back to where it was. This comes here. This comes here. So you see that we're down to the last three. Now, can I set this up to cycle it just right? Well, I can move this. And I don't want to get too ambitious, but I could move this here. So basically, this is at the side. I move this up here. Orange to orange, red to... Aha! Red, green to green. Green. And this should be a game-ending move. Left, right, left, right, back, front, back, right, Left, right, left, back, front, back. And remembering what we did, this moves here, this moves here, and the puzzle is solved. So Curvy Copter 3 has been bested. And all you had to do was exactly what you remember in terms of the solve of the Curvy Copters and just using this extra Rex type formation in order to solve this. But notice it really didn't do much in the way of algorithms, just a couple of um, positioning with that. Uh, definitely a worthy puzzle. I always like puzzles where they go the next step and you have to do positioning in order to make things happen and hone your strategies with that. So there you have it, Curvy Copter 3. Excellent addition to your edge turning Curvy Copter collection. Until the next time, thanks for watching.